Hey guys, Gregsy96 here. Today with a new idea we had. I yeah. was not part of this idea. You were part of this idea. I'm just here. Well then, fine. It's not the GNL show, it's the G&L show. Yay! I, I'm in this. I didn't know the idea, but I'm, I'm here on the cast. So I'm here. Nah, you're a special guest. No, em I'm not a guest. Emphasis on special. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> special, I'm not a guest. I'm just really tired right now. Okay, but anyway. So, You're Liberty, explaining? you want to explain the idea since you had it? Uh, yeah, sure. Oh, so, and just so you know, if you didn't know what L stands for, it stands for Liberty. Yeah, I'm here too. Well, N stands for and, but that's besides the point. So, this is like a little podcast type thing where we're just going to sit and talk and play video games. Because yeah. we're far more interesting when we're not talking about the game itself. Oh, I so have a question. Everyone. What is your question? Alright, this is a poll. Sit Come on down. Out. Is Facebook now becoming a wasteland of scammers? Yes. Well, duh. Next question. Every uh, social network ever. Will you? Will Amazon's offer on Kindle Unlimited make you buy one? What the hell's a Kindle? <laughs> it's the reading <laughs> thing. I think you're stupid. I don't know if you know what you're talking about. Hmm. I don't think it is either. Anyway, next question. Oh, okay. Why would uh, I buy a Kindle when I can buy a Nexus 7 for less and it does more? Are you a discontinued cable TV uh, person in favor of streaming? Um, I do have cable TVs. I never watch TV. Okay. Yeah, me either. Could you quit Facebook for 99 days? Yes. Um, no, because I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> I don't use Facebook. You have a question? I really only use Facebook to post links. Uh, any more questions, Sol? Uh, yeah. Is potato salad a good use of Kickstarter? Yes. No. Oh. When I there you guys, you go, you guys can start talking about your first topic. We have a difference of Kickstarter. Here. Well, I just think he's fucking stupid, but that's besides <laughs> well, the point. Well, I do too, but I think the people who funded him are even dumber. Yeah. It's not even like a raffle. No one gets the potato salad. <laughs> he's just making potato salad. He probably no, did the pick. No, 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 no. Under the thing, there's he like had stretch all sorts goals. Of rewards, so he has to actually give out these rewards. Yep. Now. There's gonna be a big party that everybody in everybody in the world is invited to, I guess. Because this guy done fuggled. Let me find the link. He I'll be done like you guys. Gone and fuggled. What are you saying? <laughs> You're gonna be like our guys. I'll be like you guys as Link Boy. I'll search link for links and shit. Okay. That's hysterical, though. Yeah. Liberty, wait, you're gonna get this reference. You ready? Yep. I'm the Brandon of the drunk thing. Eh, <laughs> I get I see you did that. Except there's no alcohol involved. No, because I had to drive home. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That. So, guys, here, I just want to get this out of the water. I just want to get this, like, out in the open right now. I don't know why my brain went to that expression. Anyways. So, Get us out of the four, water. Four people went to dinner tonight. I went to dinner with three other people. Our bill came to a total of about 130 bucks for four yeah. for four people, and we all left the restaurant feeling like we were about to explode. One of us had three freaking lobsters. Like, I thought it was only two. Was I don't even remember. It was just a lot of lobster. Okay. I yeah. had a full barbecue chicken and a full 12 rack of ribs. <laughs> oh, great. And then we all had chocolate lava cake. You fucking stupid. <laughs> and then Can't I came home and had a couple of cupcakes. And no, yeah. I am not insanely fat. Um. I probably okay. put on all the weight I've lost since the okay, beginning question. of the summer, but. I got another poll question. Okay. We need like a like a bell and whistle for whenever I have a poll. Mm. Is the Amazon Fire smartphone a game changer? No. Amazon's making a smartphone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the fact that we haven't heard about it yet now. Um. Okay. Oh wow. Is the Windows Phone a game changer? No, because no. nobody likes it. That that's the thing. People, I know people who like their Windows phones. Okay. So ready? Do you want to hear my point about the Windows Phone? Yeah, sure. It does something that no other device has done in the past. Made a fool of themselves. Well, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, never mind. The Kindle did that. What? But anyways. 
Oh, okay. yeah. It, oh, allow it allows for synergy between all of your devices. Just forget Metro apps exist and everything is fine. Well, well yeah, I mean, to a point, Apple did that with their yeah, iPhones, but, except, you know, you know iOS. Still sucks. Yeah, but no, here's the thing iOS and OS X are totally different. Yes. Like, you can literally Speaking. have total synergy. You can run a freaking Surface Pro as a laptop tablet. You can get a Nokia Lumia. One thing I hate about the Windows Phone is it's a Nokia exclusive right now. I think that if they got enough traction, they were going to expand, but I don't think that they actually so like, got okay. enough traction. Here's the thing. Yeah. Poll question. Am I retarded that I'm debating for my next phone whether I'm going to get the 5.7 inch ver no, the 5.5 inch version of the iPhone 6, a Moto G, or a Lumia 1520? No. I'm not actually sure which one I want for my next phone. Like, I'm debating for a few reasons. Um, one of the reasons I want to stick with iPhone is I'm just starting to get into iOS development. But that's kind of irrelevant, because expensive licensing fees. Yes, the other reason I kind of want to get an Android, Android phone is because Android development, but I have a Nexus 7. Might I say something? Sure. Alright, this is for you Android developers listening. I thought of this crazy idea, and I'm sure it's been thought of a lot. So I don't even say you go, you're stupid for thinking of this. But um, you're stupid for thinking of this. Shut yeah. the fuck up. Here's Sorry. what I thought. Um, so you guys know the iPod, right? Big popular no, no. thing. It's What's like an I heard of it. It's like an iPhone, but you can't call on it. You can't call or text. Why you have an app? I figured some company could make something like an iPod that would run Android OS. I realized this after having a phone with no service, how awesome I love the Play Store, and how many great apps are on it. So, uh, do that, guys. Get on that. But why, when you can just get an unlocked phone? You could, but, like, then people would be like, can I see your phone real fast? Oh, it doesn't have service. Can I text you or something? Uh, well, that, look that this up for me. He's got a point there. No, you've got a point. For once, I mean, you have a point. If it's cheaper than, like... The, the Galaxy S4, it, it's a good idea because, you know, the Google Play Store is a really good little thing. I do sort of have to agree. And if it's cheaper, you don't have to buy the fucking phone. And if you, lo if you like, love your I um you don't need to get rid of it if you want a new phone. No, if you want something with uh, no. the end... OS. Yeah, Noel has a point for once. Surprisingly enough. I have I have a new phone. It's called the iDroid Universe GS2. But yeah, so anyways, no. I'm not sure if I want to get... But the other funny? thought, anyways, it was not funny at all. But my thought for getting the reason I want a Windows phone is because I will just unlock my iPhone. I have an iPad for that iOS development stuff. Uh -huh. I have a Nexus 7 for Android development. I don't have any Windows developable devices unless I want to make Metro apps. Or stuff for your desktop. That's what I'm saying. Oh, unless yeah. I want to make Metro apps for the desktop. I don't have a way to do mobile Windows development and test it without a virtual thing. Yeah. And plus, camera on Nokia's are freaking amazing. They really are. The Nokia cameras and the S4 cameras are both pretty good. Nokia is way better though. Like, yeah, but you both... could actually use a Lumia as a vlogging camera. Yeah, I've seen people do that with the iPhone, and it's a bit shitty. Yeah, like I, I don't know if I, the uh, the college vlog I posted, that was horrible. It took four oh. renders out at 1080p in order to make that watchable. Yeah. Because I did it with the front-facing camera on my iPhone, so I had then the screen again, the... looking at me. The front-facing camera on the iPhone only goes up to the 720p, while the back-facing is 1080. I know. Like, so I you used, have to, like, like I use my front-facing camera, though. Yeah. Like, I'm a loser. You have, to, you have to fuck with it while rendering to get it up to 1080, but that's... No, I'm able to do that, because, you know, I'm a genie. Okay, so hold on. I have a poll thing, and I don't think either of you care about this, because you don't use the YouTube Capture app. Yep. In the comments below, for those of you who have used YouTube Capture, what do you think of the fact that you can post it to a Google Plus channel? Like, I could post it to my Greg C thing, 
but I could not post it to Greg C96 Gaming, which is a channel associated to that account. Well, here's the thing. I've actually looked at the the uh, the app before. It's got really shitty reviews on it because of how clunky it is, how not useful and practical it is. It's just not a good app. Yeah, I know. Didn't like, have thought put so into it. I actually, I like the idea. Yeah, being able to upload directly to your channel from your phone. It's a good idea. It just was not executed properly oh, by not at all. Google. Which is really weird when you think about it. Yeah, they could have done it so much fucking better. Like, it's honestly such a strange concept that Google Here's the thing. did it wrong. Google. Back when this app came out, they were seriously pushing Google+. Plus. They have since stopped. That is true. But. They're trying to get rid of it, actually. I think they're trying to forget about it. But here's the thing. No, that they can't get rid of Google+, Plus now, because Hangouts is popular. Yeah, that's the only thing that's popular. But, um. That would actually upset me slightly if they got rid of Hangouts. Here's the thing. Um. That app was made back when Google Plus, yeah, they were really trying to push true. it. So it's made with Google Plus integration in mind. As the main feature, yeah. As the main feature. So the, it was a Google Plus fucking publicity stunt, basically, that didn't work for what it was originally meant to do. I think I'm going to make that Mega Sword now. Mega Sword? The Mega Sword. Sorry, I, that, that's not on topic of what anything we're talking about. I just want yeah. to do that. What do you mean by make a sword? Ah, my awesome sword to replace my kick-ass axe I accidentally threw into the fire. Oh, God damn it. So every once in a while we'll just dip back into talking about the games, and then we'll go back to other topics. Cause so, yeah. So I don't do know. I'm really torn about... Okay, so here's the thing. Mm -hmm. iPhone 6, their release, if it stuns me, I am totally getting an iPhone 6. But based on, like, their iOS 8 beta releases. Oh, look, it's an iPhone 5, except, you know... It's a big iPhone 5, yeah. Slightly different. I, I'm still on a 4, and I don't care enough. Like One thing one thing I do... I'm still on a 4, too. One thing I really dislike about Apple is that they can't keep something working for enough... for, like, five or so years. I mean, look at the fucking iPad 2. Within I, I have an iPad of, 2. Within four years of it being out, the operating system can't update enough for it to still be relevant. I know. Which like, is some bullshit. Like here's and the especially thing, for the price that those things go for. I have an iPad too. Mm -hmm. Like that that's what I actually have. That's my iPad is an iPad too. Yep. I But no seven for that. No no iOS seven for that. What Same are thing you with the iPhone. Talking 3. About? I'm running my iOS uh, I'd like to my brother has an iPad too and it runs iOS seven. Yeah. Must be the original iPad. Can't Probably. Run it I is mean, the original iPad that can't run 7. The iPhone 3 can't run 7. No, the iPhone 3 cannot run the 7. The iPod 4 can't run 7. My sister is... Wait, iPad 4? iPod I... 4. Really? Yep. That is actually really surprising. Oh, screw it. I'm just five. gonna... I'm gonna use this enchanted book as my main weapon. The, um, the one in my chest? The Resurgence Book of Smite. Don't take my Resurgence Book of Smite. No, this is my Resurgence Book. Oh, you got one too? Yeah, I don't know where I got it from. It was just in my weapons chest. Oh, Actually, cool. that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to organize this crap. Uh, you can't add any more enchantments to the Resurgence Book of Smite. Or rename it. No, because I tried to rename it. And you no, get that. Selb on that. <laughs> I tried to rename Man, the Resurgence Book of Smite. Reason, and didn't probably. fuck with it. Oh. I renamed it. I didn't try to enchant it anymore. So, guys. What? Poll question. Mm -hmm. Should I take this job as a C++ tutor? If no. the pay is over fifteen an hour, yes. What do you think, Noel? Yes, I'm just saying no because C plus plus is confusing as shit. What? Well, it's not That's that not bad. bad. In my mind, in my opinion, it's not that bad. Oh, dude, I need to like actually get myself equipped to play. Need I've to just get been my... ducking around on this server so much lately. Mm -hmm. I'm actually doing something. Not sure what it is yet, but I'm doing something. I'm gonna go play some Blitz. <laughs> okay, I'll I'm join just gonna you. some of this. <sighs> yeah. Okay, but yeah, no, I don't know. So, another thing... <sighs> but yeah, so should I do that? Like, you think I should yeah. become a C++ tutor? I do. Like, do you think I'm actually good, a uh, decent teacher? Oh, wow, Noel was already on Hypixel. He sent me a party invite as soon I as I got on. Oh, shit. That was creepy. <laughs> I saw your name, it said Greg C96 came on. Ah, came on what? 
Did or I just it, say no, that on one of my joint. videos? Yeah, yeah, yes, you did. <laughs> I have to censor that, damn it. Well, I Greg, said fuck like come hang times. out and Come hang out in the, uh, the lobby, because we're only gonna be here for like six more days. Oh, I should go to the lobby. I'm not a VIP, because I think it's a waste of fucking money. Oh, I totally agree. We're still gonna get shit. We're gonna get houses. Yeah, but you sent me the fucking picture of your house. It's this little shitty cave no, with- No, that was in the wall. I forget, where's the VIP lobby at? Oh my god. You go to your compass. Oh yeah, I remember now. No, dude, they can keep the VIP lobby, because that's a vanity thing. But it gives you an advantage over which, um, uh, lobbies you can thing... get into. But no, yeah, you can't join, only... they'll just take, they can take away the fact that you can join games. I don't know if that's like an advantage thing, cause you can, you can sit there and look at the numbers on, you're not really getting more of an advantage. But dude, no, if they just take that away the sense. ability to join games from the VIP lobby, they can keep it because it's just a vanity thing. Like, is it bad that I think that Hypixel should suffer when the EULA gets changed? I think they will. I, I agree they will, because here's the thing. There will be I think still they people should, who donate, but here's the thing. Giant servers like this, the EULA getting changed makes it so they won't be able to keep them running as smoothly. Because there's a lot of man hours that go behind keeping these servers up. Of course, but... Like, I don't like the fact that it's going to affect everyone so much. Well, I don't fucking think that the servers should have been pay to win in the first place. I don't think these servers are pay to win though. I really think that they're pay to win because yeah, pay gives fiber. you a distinct advantage but in combat. Greg, use your firework. Greg, I mean, from things use like there we go. the fucking being able to pay for firework. coins to go directly to a really good kit instead of actually having to work for something means that the shittiest player can now win a game almost instantly because they suddenly get a diamond sword because they paid 30 bucks to buy a pack of coins. Coins are being taken out of the store. Good. That's what I'm saying. This is pay to win. Oh, it was pay no, to win. No, I was never a firm believer in being able to pay for coins. I think ranks are fine, though. Yeah. I think even ranks where you get a few extra kits are okay. Yeah, because it's a thank you for putting a lot of money like, in. I don't think having a different kit makes you pay to win, because, in my opinion anyways, like the they VIP balance and them. the MVP pluses and whatnot, those kits aren't, in any of the games, aren't like insanely overpowered. Some of them really are, though. Like, as a VIP, the only thing I, I can think of VIP, I still play as an archer. Like, literally I play all as the time. There are some kits that are actually. I could really just be a weird case, but I just don't think that it gives you as much of an advantage as everyone wants to claim it, it does. It doesn't. It really doesn't. They've been balancing the kits out. Yeah, because they were originally fucking awful. Like, oh, I just got a diamond. Nice. Like, I could just be totally wrong, but. No, you're right. You, you I, right now got a diamond, right? Yeah. In a chest. If you paid enough coin, up enough money, you could get enough coins to, um be able to immediately go to, like, rogue level 4 or 5, where yeah. you get the diamond sword. Well, here's the thing, is they're being taken out of the store, so there's yeah, really same. no need to... We're not talking about what has to be done, we're talking about what we think, what we thought the server was oh, like Greg, before... you were killed? The... Yeah, I was. I had a wood axe, and I tried to take on three people. <laughs> I killed the first one. <laughs> well, I mean, do they know that teaming with three or more people is uh, against the rules according to a helper a helper said that in a lobby a helper said that three or more people is against the rules on a team how? how is that? I don't know they how can they enforce that? when I used to play with minecraft and stuff okay so there's this group of people I used to play with a lot before I did youtube we'd get like 12 people into a 24 person game <laughs> MCSG? yeah dude oh my then we went to Blitz, and we really started wrecking. Because huh. we'd Remember get 12 you... people in, and we'd all just chase one person. <laughs> that sucks for that person. <laughs> I remember when you tried to get uh, me and the kids from shop to play um, Vampire Z. Dude, that's a fun game, in my no. opinion. I actually recorded some of that the other day with Tabor and Rob. 
that stupid Hypixel game with the vampires and Yeah, the... dude, that's a fun game. Got a Z at the end of it. <laughs> Fuck that. I hated that. What? Yeah, I was fucking boring. Well, A, it lagged like shit. Do you know they took wizards out of the uh, TNT? I did notice that. Which one was wizards? The one with like uh, ice and fire and shit. I, oh, I actually that never one. played that. Why did they take wizards out? I don't know, I heard it was a really buggy game and it gave a lot of coins and it was really easy to farm coins in. Oh, and then yeah, you can transfer coins, right? No, that's just an arcade. Oh. So, um... Da -da, da -da -da. Anyways, back to another topic, because that's what we're here for. Yep, and that was, we were getting a bit angry at each other. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, we were. That's okay, that'll happen. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, another topic. What do we have for another topic? I'm thinking, um... Uh, no, I didn't come up more, with any... YouTube, questions. Twitch buying YouTube. Uh, oh, yeah, no, oh, you, YouTube Google, buying Google Twitch. buying Twitch, yep. Google buying Twitch. I'll, I'll queue up more, uh... Google buying when Twitch. I die. Liberty, what's your opinion on that? Because I actually didn't hear yeah, about yes. it until you mentioned it today. Uh, okay, if I so may just say something... Google confirmed their purchase of Twitch for $1 billion what? today. Um, which means that Twitch is going to become a, uh, a Google product. I just hope you don't have to pay to stream to Twitch now. You won't have to. YouTube's making a music service. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. They're trying to beat Spotify and Pandora and stuff like that. Well, I'm Spotify totally okay sucks. That. And Pandora was never You great liked Spotify you... for a while. Yeah, for like a week. And then I got pissed because it censored music that should never be censored. But yeah, so, okay. I personally think YouTube streaming, the integrated streaming, is actually pretty good. Yeah, I think they it's They bring good. some of those features to Twitch. Okay, so now here's my only other thing. I hope now that Google bought Twitch, that doesn't <laughs> affect Twitch being a sponsor for Extra Life. No, I think it'll just mean that Google's a sponsor. Well, Google was a sponsor for Exercise Extra Life anyway. Oh, were they? Yeah. Oh, okay. Then it won't affect anything. Never yeah, mind. I just no. want a diamond. Google was a huge sponsor. I was unaware of this. We no, need you to want fact check. But I, uh, I thought I'm that Google was game. like one of the biggest supporters of Extra Life. Anyway. They also donate a lot of money. This I know for sure. But they donate a lot of money to charity anyway. That's the guy who killed me. He killed you too. They're really uh -oh. a great company. Checking. So, can I just say that I love Bandicam? We Why? have 23 minutes of footage on my computer. It's only 2.6 gig. Oh, I'm going to render on. it up to 1080p and upload it though. I'm recording. Oh, I'm not I haven't right stopped now. recording yet. I this will is still tell going. you what size the Fraps file currently is. I'm not seeing anything about Google sponsoring. It's still going. Really? Actually, yeah. Dude, am I bad that I can't like do the conversions? Really oh, Griffin's easily, online. Between kilobytes and um, megabytes and gigabytes. Yeah, thirty-four thousand yeah. kilobytes. I think oh, that's heads up. Thirty-four gig. If you're watching this gigs. video, so we're if you're, at like twenty-six minutes then. If you're watching this video now. God damn it, guys. If you're watching this video now and it's before July 31st, 2014, you can get The Sims 2 for free on Origin using the redeem code I Love The Sims. Hmm. Yeah, you're gonna hate yourself for typing that, but free yeah. game. Yeah. You will hate yourself for typing that. I hated myself for typing that. Chris online, in game, caption derp, and he's gone. <sighs> So, um, yeah, so... Uh, Google buying Twitch. Yeah. yeah. I'm too tired. <laughs> but anyways, Would you like some more poll questions? We will hit that after we finish this topic, but yeah. Yeah, I got loads of things. I really think it'll be a good thing, because I like the way Google set up the integrated str the live streaming to YouTube. Google's good for the gaming industry also. I, you know, they're not perfect. Yeah, where, where else would you find all your cracks? Yeah, seriously. Bing? <laughs> uh, but remember, Noel, according to that person who talked to our group, Bing is a safe search. Yeah, I was just about to say. That There's fucking... no security risks on Bing. That way. 
that when this lady came in, she spoke. She was a lawyer, and she spoke to us. She's like, "My dad only uses Bing because they don't track you." Bullshit! They don't track you. And you know what? If you're on Windows, they don't track you because Windows is tracking you anyway. No. Yeah. What? Do you know who that lady was? Yeah. You do? Yeah. The camp lady's that? daughter. Yep. I know exactly who. Well, that was my second time getting that speech because Will was here last year. Wait, who was that? Uh, we'll talk about it afterwards. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright, uh, you ready personal for Personal names and personal life stuff do not belong yeah. in the stream. Okay, so, no. Alright, so would, would, would you rather be able to read minds, fly, become a dragon, or talk to animals? Fly without a question. Stupid. Um, I say fly because I'd never be stuck in traffic again. I had to fly because you know how fucking badass would flying be? Yeah, because that's not like it could totally go wrong horribly. Well, yeah, but fucking cars, man. But like, dude, you're gonna, you're gonna die probably. You're gonna die anyway. Fuck your issue. <laughs> I don't wanna die that quick. <laughs> yep, I'm at forty two Oh my god. It just jumped from forty gigs to forty two gigs. I'm watching it again. Exactly three gig. Did I ever tell you guys yeah. about the two hundred gig video that I rendered? Yes, actually. Oh dude, okay. this is gonna be one of those videos maybe. Depending on how long we go, I don't know how long we should last for. I don't know. I'm having fun. I don't know yeah. how long I can last, actually. I'm gonna be breaking out in meat sweat soon. <laughs> you do not need that image in my mind, Greg. Yeah. Thank you for that nasty image. You're welcome. So, Noel, are you gonna, like, join a new game? Uh, I wasn't planning on it, but I can. Well, you were like, let's play, and then you haven't done anything. Let's play. I've been play. sitting in the eyes of the dog. I found a way to get into the redstone. Where is this? Alright, so. Come to the lobby. I mean, come to the VIP. And right, come to the dog. You're a VIP. Wait, hold on. I am a VIP. I'm in the VIP. You're the real MVP. Right, you see me? I'm right here. Oh, oh. And you just get in the eyes. Just. Put your way down. Hey, welcome to the cool kids party. But the only way out of here is to switch lobbies. Uh -huh. There's cool. no way to get back through the dyes. It puts some milk in the basket. You're just not trying hard enough. There is no way to get through the eyes again. Trust me. Hey, but if all this. of a sudden it just went through the eyes. <laughs> watch this, watch this. The eyes don't work no more. The eyes don't work no more. That's not doing anything on my screen. The redstone's still there for me. Fuck. How about this? How about this? Is it doing anything? Breaking the redstone torch. No. But anyways. Uh. Noel, what's your next topic? Um. Let me see. Let me see. I got a really cool app. But, uh, there's a lot of really cool stories on it about tech and stuff. Oh, that's another thing that I want to talk about. Maybe I'm thinking of start. Oh no! What? You just gotta reach through the door. All right, let's see. Uh, we have. God. Talk about. I can give you more poles. That's like the one thing on here. Give us a couple poles. Alright, let's see. Uh, we'll find a good one to talk about. Something good. Would yeah. you trust a Google self-driving car to drive you around town? Okay, so yeah. here's the thing. I actually have mixed opinions on this. If everyone was in a Google self-driving car, yes. Um, now, here's my other thing. No amount of programming and comp size stuff can replace the reaction of the human brain. And if it can, Google cars need to be destroyed. So you know the Google cars that have been like driving around and doing all the um. Yeah, I know those are self-driving. Yeah, yeah. There's 
one and they've only been in two accidents. Any of them. I know. One got rear-ended by a garbage truck. Okay. And one got scraped by an angry driver. Neither were the cause of the self-driving car. So, can I just say this? Okay, yep. that reminds me of two things. One, actually, it reminds me of three things. One, I saw one of those out in California. It was cool as hell. Yeah. Um, two... They'll never go to all self-driving cars, because then traffic tickets would not exist and our economy would break. Yeah. And three, there's this thing that does not require self-driving cars. However, there are these Nissan smart trucks that drive around on the highways. And you can put this, uh, there's this receiver in some Nissan cars that you can link to the smart truck, and it automatically drives you trailing the smart truck in its drag cloud so you don't uh, use a lot of gas. That's awesome, actually. I think it's only, like, in Germany, though. So, can I do a poll? Yeah. Flying cars, yes or no? Okay. I've actually... I've, sit, I've sat in on a flying cars development meeting before. So just get yes, now, and then we can go into our... Then I'll go into that fun story. Um, I'm totally for them, because... You still have to get a pilot's license. So if you're an idiot, you cannot get a pilot's license. But it makes say, small aircraft very accessible to people, and that's dangerous. I would say no, because you know people can't drive in three dimensions, or in two dimensions. What the fuck makes you think they can drive in three? Well, if you're doing it wrong, you're already going to be driving in three. <laughs> Duke's a hazard shit. But anyways, um, but yeah, no, I sat in on the, uh, Was I not included in this poll? Oh, well then answer, you kind of just stopped talking. Okay, so, um, I have a few questions about this. So, can any old schmuck go down and get a license? Um, you can get a pilot's license, but it requires 30 hours Train of classroom and 60 hours of training with a pilot who's had their license for at least 10 years. Okay, and are these self-driving, or do you have to drive them yourself? Do they you have fly like them yourself. However, I would assume they have radar integration like most planes do. They okay. did say for self-driving. So, and I, the other thing is they're also like 300 grand. I think that they should be a thing, but for somebody to get access to, because these are going to be residential, I'm assuming. These aren't going to be like having to fly too high above the sky. People are going to need... There needs to be more, a more extensive. We need a more extensive driver's ed license process. Well, dude, like I said, you'd need a pilot's license. Yeah, but you, like, you'd need like something. I don't know what I'm trying yeah, to say. Yeah, we need something other than a pilot's license because just because you can fly a plane doesn't mean you can fly a car. Yeah. In residential area. Yeah, you're gonna be in like a neighborhood with kids and old people. Well, most of the flying car designs that are existent are for vertical takeoff. Yeah. And I think those are actually cool as hell. They're some of the coolest things I've ever seen. Mm. It's still. I. People can't correctly drive in two dimensions. What makes you think they can fly correctly and. Drive crack in three. Oh, I don't. I have no faith in that. That's why you have to have. I don't need think... to have a specialty license. Wait, wait no. Get. No. Yes. You say we need to have a specialty license and able to fly a flying car. Mm -hmm. There's specialty licenses required to own guns, saying you're not an idiot. School shootings still happen. That needs to be more yeah, of yeah, a, you don't own a gun. And guess what? Those school shootings happen by usually people who don't have a license to own a gun. I just want to say that this person is an asshole. This oh, is Icarus me? too. Hey, he, he was hitting me. That's I totally think, not legit. I think that in Blitz, I'm changing the subject here, but we can go right back. In Blitz, you need to like they need to be. You need to wait ten minutes. I mean, not. There needs to be. You need to wait twenty seconds to be able to hit somebody. Did you die? Yeah. Oh, I'm dead too. Okay. Okay, okay. so... Let's return to your topic. Uh, Cars, shooting. guns, shooting, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, so I was gonna say, all the majority of gun-related incidents, you know, which are very special licensing and all that, background checks and whatnot, 
The majority of the gun-related incidents happen by people who are not licensed to own a firearm. Yeah. So what makes you think that, I mean, people drive without a license all the time. What makes yes. you think that people won't fly without licenses? That's Those my people are going um, to kill themselves. That's my biggest, and Those other people. Those people are going to die. Those people are a hazard to themselves and everyone else around them. Adding to my my reason of why flying cars should not be should not okay. exist. That's okay. what I was going to say. Um, that is one of my biggest reasons. Can I actually offer an idea? Go for it. Flying taxis. You have a trained professional. You pay a good amount of money to have a trained professional fly you around. Okay. That's now, thing. having taken cabs around for a week in California, I am terrified of taxis. No, no, no. no. I'm thinking flying taxis. Taxi drivers don't need a special license. I'm People, just telling you. These, these drivers would definitely need a special license. They would need training and a special license because they would be being, they would be being paid thousands of dollars for this kind of stuff. Okay. It's a, so, car that, it's a car that picks you up at your house, does a vertical takeoff, and drops you wherever you so need to go. So now this has just got me onto a new idea. Yep. Ignoring the fact that you could never really do it without burning your calves off, jetpacks, yay or nay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nay. Why? Too dangerous. Far too dangerous. The st the the fuel that's in that. Well, we 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 require a lot more development. Yeah, the, ever. Like I said, you ignoring the fact that you burn your legs off. Here's the thing: it's jet fuel, which is highly highly flammable and highly highly explosive. You so crash. Is, so is hydrogen. We filled blimps with those. <laughs> Look at the, Man, look at the Hindenburg. I know. <laughs> Hitler's dream. Up in flames. But anyway, you nice crash. Uh, we both went for the same topic. You crash. You're gonna start a huge fire. You might. You're gonna kill yourself. There's almost no way you will survive a jetpack okay. crash. So now, you'll kill yourself. You'll hurt other people. You crash into a house. I would make the burning point. Burning down the house. I would kind of say. Kind of like a bike, have a bike helmet, but nobody wears their fucking helmets. And what makes so, somebody wear their jet stuff? How about a helicopter backpack? Less dangerous, huge rotors. Slice, slice, slice. Yeah. We have to safety pad humanity. <laughs> I don't want to. I know. I people... want. I want all of these cool things. Yes, but the people who are smart enough to sit down and talk about this kind of stuff. <laughs> Aren't the people who are going to be like, hur, hur, let's have five beers and go use the jetpack. So, okay. Think of the average American, Dude, right? Think I of had, how stupid the average American is. I had Didn't this, realize that half the country is stupider than that. Yeah, I think I've told you that one before. It's yeah, think of how stupid the average person is and realize that half of them are stupider than that. Hey, Greg, is that how you feel sense? That makes no sense. What makes no sense? Some guys, like, everybody takes slash mean, vote, I'm, yes. I'm it's like, that... It's not gonna do anything. Let's vote to stop well. changing the EULA. Should I be like, is that a Greg joke? It's a gag. Is that a Greg joke? It's a gag joke. I don't appreciate. <laughs> El no appreciate O. I'm gonna kill this guy. Just so you know, we're at 38 minutes. I'm aware. I'm at like 60 gigs. How long here's do you want to go for? I'm willing to go an hour. Here's Let's do an hour then. That I Copy. think. Okay. Uh, I, this is a poll, but this could also span into Wait, a topic. Wait, no Greg is not to be joked about in this society? True. Uh, no. No Greg is not to be joked about. There's no about. punctuation in that. So I think... English, do they use it? <laughs> Are you saying every Greg should be joked about? I did not detect any grammar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a world champ, bitch. <laughs> I'm a teenage software developer and world champion. So I'm gonna. What I said he wasn't? I'm gonna span Do off you? like a little oh, comment real quick. Someone from old. school messaged me, right, saying that they missed me, and they had no punctuation. They called them out on the punctuation, so they responded with the wrong punctuation again. 
I just stopped talking to them. I missed you hey, too, Liberty, comment. with every shot. You see the comment that I said? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I'm back there was a do you even fucking Hi. English dumbass in there somewhere. What are you saying? Greg, Greg, come on, calm down. I know you have AP Lang behind you. No, I just, I don't understand what he's Wait, saying. Wait, uh, your, you your argument's invalid. You forgot the question mark. It was actually a statement directed at his brain like a bullet. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> You're an AP language major, and I'm not major, like, you took it. And I'm really good with grammar, and I'm getting really annoyed with this guy. I'm sure you are too. Oh, but don't get a Skype call because I forgot to set myself to DND. Statement. Your statement. In a rhetorical tone. Through the argument I made? No. Not you, Liberty. <laughs> I just love messing around with people. You know, I learned that anyways is the improper way of saying it. Anyway. Yeah. D did you seriously say anyways? It's no, anyway. I said anyway. I know. I learned that. Anyway... What are you saying? I think you could say what are you saying as a directed statement. You can. Yeah, no, you could definitely use a question word as a directed statement. Uh-huh. I love how I'm arguing about grammar with people in the Minecraft lobby. And I'm not even in that Minecraft lobby, I'm just sitting here brewing. A question word as a... Directed. Glowstone makes a potion more powerful, right? Statement. See the comment I made, Greg? Yeah, I saw that. With little kids. Or not. How so? After this whole argument's over, I do have something to segue into discussion. Hold Just on a second, I'm bringing up Google. No, because this is fun. I'm, I'm having fun, Liberty. Okay. Oh man. This argument's really fun. How to use question words in directed statements. <laughs> oh man. This is gonna be the first upload on my channel in a while. I, oh, I just wanna take this time to say I'm sorry I haven't uploaded anything in a while. I, I actually have tried. I just. It wasn't great. And I didn't feel it was up to the quality of what I wanted to put on my channel. So. Okay. I'm very confused as to what's going on. I actually would leave the lobby right now, because there's only like six of us, if it wasn't for this gigantic argument, and the guy you started with the argument with isn't even here. <laughs> He's gone. He's gone. Seriously? That's hilarious. Colt's gone. I'm totally huh. gone. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh. I was not paying attention at all. I was actually just kind of impressed to find a semi-intelligent person. I've been here the whole time. <laughs> like I said, I'm impressed to have had a conversation with a semi-intelligent person. Where's my phone at? Gotta send a happy birthday text message. Two? Okay, right, you ready for the next topic? Yep, go ahead. Alright, this is a poll and then I can turn into a topic. I find you guys would do good with this. Do you think the government should regulate bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies? Okay, so this is going to make me sound like a tech idiot. I don't understand bitcoins at all. It's okay, basically... So I, yeah, you explain. It's, it's a type of currency that doesn't... Exist. Inflate. There's no inflation involved with it. So a bitcoin 
will always be worth the same amount while a currency like the US dollar or the euro is constantly changing. No, it will now, not. Now, here's the thing. It will not. This nope. is what I've heard from the people who made it. Because I've heard that it's supposed to be the only stable currency that's never going to drop in value. Nope, it's at like five hundred dollars right now, and it used to be like Liberty. Wait, 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 Liberty. Mm -hmm. How can it always sit at the same value if actual currency is inflating and deflating? Here's the thing: the therefore, Bitcoin if it's was... if it sits at the exact value of say five hundred dollars, and currency inflates and deflates, by default, the Bitcoin itself has an inflating and deflating value. The Bitcoin was not originally going to be used with other currencies. The Bitcoin was originally intended for illegal things. And it was originally intended no, so a exactly pound of coke it's... will cost the same amount of bitcoins as a pound of coke in 10 years. So it keeps prices from changing and it's so also untraceable. how do bitcoins actually no. do anything if it... How bitcoins do were not invented for drug use. Money if bitcoin... Well, well, used for drug use. But hold on. They are, but they were not invented for that. Then how do they drug dealers make money if di bitcoins is a thing then? You can convert the bitcoins. But yeah. then, I'm very confused. And then what the hell is bitcoin mining? Uh, um, okay, so you have sure a about. really good, you have a really good processor. And, uh, okay, so mine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set this round down, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, cause I don't exactly remember the whole process. Okay. Yeah, please, I'm impulsive. This conversation actually just got really interesting. Okay, so. Mining is the process of adding transaction records to Bitcoin's public ledger of past transactions. This ledger of past transactions is called the blockchain, as it a chain is it a chain of blocks. The blockchain serves to confirm transactions. Well, I'll just find the interesting parts. Mining is intentionally designed to be resource intensive and difficult, so the number of blocks found each day by miners remains steady. Individual blocks must contain a proof of work to be considered valid. So. I, I'm gonna take this, and I'm also going sure, to. In English, please. Yeah, I, I was gonna dumb it down a little bit. So well, hold on, wait. I just have a question. I was under the impression that Bitcoin mining was an illegal thing. No. So basically. So what exa I just don't even understand the concept. I guess. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna break it down a little bit. I'm so I'm done with Hypixel. I need to be like in thought. All right. So basically. So you can just fuck around for a bit. You just. No. Yep. Continue. Alright, so, basically it's, you take any processor speed, and you can either be with a bunch of other people, or you can be by yourself, and your processor does a bunch of math and shit, and basically if it finds, I think it's, I think it's random number generated, and if like the numbers generate match like blocks, you guys, the blocks are shared, now you can't get nearly as many bitcoins from uh, mining with large people, but you do find them more often. Whereas if you're mining by yourself, you get to keep everything in that block. So you, there could be like five bitcoins in there, which is a lot of money. $2, but $2. it's going to take you a while. How much did you say, Liberty? 100 if the current rate of a bitcoin is 500 So yeah. I could literally just get like five more of my processors printed, make bitcoin mining rigs. Here's the thing. I've seen people do it with... um. Raspberry Pis. I've seen. Nope. No. You can, but you oh, need a no. super fucking good processor. I've so seen here. people do them with blocks of like eighty Raspberry Pis in a oh. huge cabinet. Um, so I'm just I don't know I'm like I'm intrigued, but I don't know if I care enough. <laughs> Let me see if I can find some more information. Okay, so um, CPU mining. Early Bitcoin client versions allowed users to use their CPUs to mine. The advent of GPU mining made CPU mining financially unwise as the hash rate of the network grew to such a degree that the amount of Bitcoin produced by CPU mining became lower than the cost of power to operate a CPU. The option was therefore removed from the core Bitcoin client interface. Oh, so I cannot even CPU mine anymore. Nope. Uh, there's pools, which uh, is pooled mining. I'll read that off now. So you're cool saying, mining. So you're saying I shouldn't have sold the Titan. Yeah, I really shouldn't have. Pooled oh. mining is a mining approach where multiple generating clients continue 
uh, contribute to the generation of a block, and then split the block reward according to the contributed processing power. Wolf Wait. mining. Okay, effective. hold on. I hate to interrupt you. I'll let you read it to yourself and figure out like how to say it so we can understand you. Okay. But, yeah, we don't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Here's all I have to say. In my mind, it is a very sad day when I can sell a graphics card to pay to fix my car. Yeah, that was... Like, mm -hmm. if I can sell a single graphics card to fully fix my car, a used graphics card, for like, used for like 250 hours, to totally fix my car. Yeah. That's terribly, terribly, terribly not... Sad. Like... I'm not the only one who sees something wrong with that, right? No. No. Okay. Do you know how to say it so we can understand you? Yeah, so basically, you're mining with a bunch of other people. Okay. And you're all generating clients, and you're all contributing to finding the block. So then, depending on how much you contributed, is how much you'll get from that split. Oh, no. Okay, I understood the thing about with multiple people. I meant, like, the GPU, CPU stuff. I'm still reading into that whole thing. Okay, so while you're gonna do that, I'm gonna talk to Liberty about other stuff. Okay, yeah. So, what? I thought you had a topic. I, off the top of my head, not yet. I'm thinking. Okay. Um, while you think, I'm turning a whole bunch of food into coins. Okay. Also, Greg, I had a better. I had a really good idea. What? I have a really good egg farm, mm -hmm. and I can make a far more efficient pumpkin farm. There's a trade that's eight cooked pork chops and one, um, what do you call it? Pumpkin pie. Yeah, I saw. Okay, that. guys, I'm so ready start doing to some of that. break it down. Okay, okay cool. Go ahead. All right. So let's say we're sitting on a park bench. It's a great day. Sun's out. Beautiful people walking around. I have one apple with me. I give it to you. Oh, it's gonna become a middle school uh, math project. <laughs> you now have one apple, and I have zero, right? That was simple. And then you dig let's, around in the ground for more apples. Let's let's look closely <laughs> at what happened. We find a MacBook. Let's look closely at what happened. My apple was physically put into your hand. You know what happened. I was there. Can, you were there. Wait, you can touched the example it. not be with apples? Can it be with seeds? My seed was physically put into you. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why we're still around. Alright, okay, I'm gonna say the sentence again because this was funny. You know what happened. I was there, you were there, you touched it. Yup. <laughs> See? Yup. We didn't the need a third you person there. The <laughs> no, because that's we just plain weird. Fucking God, come on guys, I'm trying to help you guys out. We didn't need a third person there to help us make the transfer. Yup. We didn't need to pull in Uncle Tommy, who's a famous judge. To sit with us on the bench and confirm Uncle that the Tommy apple. Is a weirdo. <laughs> to confirm <laughs> that the apple went from me to you. The apple's Uncle yours. Uncle Tommy is a weirdo. The apple is yours. Fun fact: I have an Uncle Tom. The <laughs> apple is fucking yours. Okay. Good. I like. I my can't MacBook. give you another apple Why because not? I don't have any. I don't have any left. Because you don't have I can't $1, control it anymore. To get another one? The apple left my possession completely. Okay. You have full control of that apple now. Okay. You can give it to your friend if you want, and then your friend can give it to his friend, and okay. so on. So it's what like a fucking you, strange apple. You, you paid, so, so you paid me a Bitcoin, i.e. an apple. Well, no, we're breaking down to that. Oh. Alright. I thought we were there. So that's what an in-person exchange looks like. I guess it's really the same, whether I'm giving you a banana, a book, a quarter, or a dollar bill. I just realized but I'm I'm getting ahead a computer, of myself. so I'm just staring at the floor. Okay. <laughs> It's gonna be back, great on your end. Back to apples. Mm -hmm. Now let's say I have one digital apple. Do not make a fucking apple joke. <laughs> Here, I'll give you my digital apple. Ah, now it gets interesting. Okay. How you do you know Uncle that? Tommy now? No, Uncle Tommy's not needed. Oh, okay. Looks like <laughs> we're gonna Tommy's need Joe. Oh, Uncle no, Tommy's we, in prison for fraud. We are. We are gonna need Uncle Tommy. We're gonna need Joe and Lisa too. Why do we need Lisa? I don't like Lisa. Mm -hmm. I don't like Joe, but we need him. Oh, okay. No one are likes a, Wait, are they a thing? Is that why they come together? <laughs> you'll, you'll see. You'll see when this all plays together. Alright. Will I? Alright. How do I know that digital apple, that, which used to be mine, is now yours and only yours? Think about it for a second. It's more complicated, right? How do you know that I didn't send that apple 
to Uncle Tommy as an email attachment first. Or your friend Joe. Or my friend Lisa, too. Maybe a couple of copies of that digital Apple on my computer. Maybe I put it up on the internet and one million people downloaded it. As you see, the digital exchange is a bit of a problem. Sending digital apples doesn't look like sending physical apples. Well, how do I know you didn't create an apple farm? <laughs> a golden apple farm. Motherfucker. I, 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 know, I know what I said, Noel. That's why I made the comment. Because it related back to the farming. Mining, my bad. One second. Oh, now you're trying to figure out the rest of it? <laughs> no, I just did. I got the laser going around. Oh, okay. Well, while Noel tries to figure out the rest of it, we're going to continue. Oh, uh, we're actually almost an hour. We're at 55 minutes. Oh, wow. I don't actually feel good about this podcast. I feel like it got okay. boring in the middle. No, okay. I think it's so good. I'm going to put it up. All right, I'm ready to, ready to continue. Okay. Alright, uh, some binary computer scientists actually have a name for this problem. It's called the double spending problem. Ooh. But don't worry about or, it. All or you the need. the quadrillion spending problem. <laughs> all... Depending on how many downloads from, uh, MediaShare. <laughs> all you need to know is that it's confused them for quite some time. Okay. And they're never, they never solved it until now. Okay. Let's try to think of a solution on our own. Maybe these digital apples need have to be tracked. A digital signature that gets tracked in a ledger. It's basically oh. a book where you track all transactions I do know and what accounting. A I do know what a ledger is. This he's ledger that's he's digital. Yeah. No. The okay. Heath Bar. He Didn't played he die? Joker. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> just, anyway. just so you know, guys, Noel does not actually hate us. It's a yeah, bit. Yeah, he does. <laughs> just. <laughs> it's a bit, much like the digital apple. <laughs> <laughs> Since it's digital, the ledger needs to live in its own world and have someone in charge of it. Can I live Just in the like, world too? It sounds like a great place. <laughs> yeah, fucking leave this world. Do us all a favor. Bitland. Oh. Just like World of Warcraft, say, Blizzard, <laughs> the guys who created the online game have a digital ledger of all the rare flaming fire swords that exist in their system. That is true. So cool. Someone like them can keep track of our digital apples. Awesome. We solved it. The problem, though. What if some guy over at uh, Blizzard created more? He could have just added a couple of digital apples to his balance whenever he wants. I honestly don't know where the fuck this is going, to be honest. This page talks about apples a lot. No, I thought you were coming up with this. No! He's not this smart. <laughs> I'm upset. You can't tell that I'm reading shit? I thought you were. I thought you put some serious thought <laughs> into like it. Shit. I was impressed. <laughs> I'm actually serious right now. I was impressed. <laughs> and then we're fucking gone us. Alright, so the solution, I'm not going to read the other problem. What if we gave this ledger to everybody? Instead of giving the ledger living on a Blizzard computer, it'll be in everybody's computers. All the transactions that have ever happened from all time in digital apples we've been recording it. You can't cheat it. I can't send you digital apples I don't have, because then it wouldn't sync up with everybody else in the system. It It'd be a tough sync system up with to beat. Especially apples. if it got really big. Plus, it's not controlled by one person, so I know there's no one that can just decide to give himself more digital apples. The rules of the system were already defined at the beginning, and the code and rules are open source, kind of like software used in your mom's Android phone, or kind of like Wikipedia. It's there just, for smart people to maintain, secure, improve, and check. You can mom's participate in this network phone. too, updating the ledger and making sure it all checks out. For the people, you can get, like, 25 digital apples as a reward. In fact, that's the only way to create more digital apples in the system. I simplified quite a bit, but then I explained exist. This is fucking horrible. I gotta find a better fucking thing that explains it, not so dull and dreary. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. We are a we minute are... away from an hour. Actually, I'm gonna say one more comment after this, and that's what we'll end it on. Yeah. So we will talk more about Bitcoins in the next episode of the GM Show. Yeah, we yeah, remember. My, my final question. And this is, I'm not getting an answer. We're stopping recording as soon as I ask. Is that how a Dogecoin works? See you guys next time.